trademarks of swimming and cross country, clipboards and stopwatches. <laughs> can't, can't leave them. Um, as a high school swim coach, whenever a club swimmer shows up, it's always a good sign. For one, it means you have someone that, for the most part, has been training all year round, as opposed to girls that maybe just come out for the first time in February and then, you know, are done in May. Um, so these girls are able to swim just about any event. So these swimmers are carefully placed in a meet so you can maximize their talent. With that being said, when you have one of the McPherson athletes, they always took up more than a few. They always took it up more than a few levels. And having had Laura on my swim team, and I can't say I really coached her, I would pretty much tell her which event she was going to be in and say, "Go get them." <laughs> um, it was so enjoyable and exciting because she was de dedicated, competitive, intense, and sometimes this was a little scary. Uh, and defined what giving 110% was all about. And I think I could probably say that, although Laura was the only athlete I coached, um, her sisters certainly fell in the same uh, category. Um, at one point, Laura held five of the school swimming records with one of them that she shared with her sister, Heather, as part of a relay team. When Laura started her freshman year as part of the FSHA, FSHA swim team, things were certainly looking up. Then at the swim meet, when I saw her mother and with her two little sisters in tow, um, and her mom gave me her assurance that her sisters are also very competent swimmers, I couldn't believe our good fortune. Even though I was optimistic, little did I know that this was definitely the beginning of an era and what an impact these amazing young women would have on our athletic program. And again, in the McPherson tradition, they took it to the next level and all went on to compete for um, LaSalle University on swimming scholarships. It is an honor and a privilege to introduce Laura McPherson Fredericks and then Heather McPherson Smith um, to uh, get their awards as our inductees for the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much, Betsy. I can't believe you're still here. <laughs> a lot of people say, they can never get rid of you. And it's like you've been in a time warp. It's like you, you look the same. All right, it's so nice to be back. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like to thank, first off, um, my family, friends, faculty, and staff, and all of you present here today who came out to honor and support my sisters and myself. Um, I'm really humbled to receive such a prestigious award. And normally, I would have been the sister to wing it, um, however, I have a sick baby who's seven and a half months at home and my husband's there. And I haven't slept for a few weeks between the two kids, so I need a little something to focus on. So um, bear with me. But my husband Andrew's at home with my youngest one, and my little son, who have you seen, Stephen, is here two and a half. Um, basically, after I was told, oh, you get to get up and speak, I said, my God, that was 22 years ago. What kind of memories and experiences do you want me to really remember? All I know lately are diaper changes, doctor's visits, late night feedings, teething. As a parent, I'm sure you understand what that's like. Um, but after some time, things started to slowly come back to my memory. Um, a little bit about myself. Swimming has always been a big thing in my life. 17 and a half years competitively, I was nationally ranked. And I was on the Sacred Heart team, the varsity swim, for four years. Uh, CIF bound all four years. My strokes were the Butterfly Freestyle and the I Am. Um, I was a finalist all my four years in my events at CIF. Um, and I had that record, my, one of my last records up until a couple of years ago, my Butterfly record. Um, I was freshman and senior class athlete and continued with a Catholic education and my swimming at LaSalle University, as mentioned. It was up until recently that I continued with my Catholic tradition, and I was a school teacher up until the birth of my first son at St. Bede's, where I taught fourth grade. Um, I know that there are some students that come to Sacred Heart currently. I don't see them right now, but I know they attend, and I've actually taught them. And Katie Sadler's granddaughters. I've taught both of them. So Katie, what comes around goes around. She was my teacher. <laughs> But I was just as nice to them as she was to me. Um, I've also coached uh, at St. James. I was a teacher there, third grade in PE, and I coached their track and field. And I would have been on a track and field and cross country team back in my time, but there was no team back then, unfortunately. There was no Coach Nish either. 
Um, I've continued with the swimming and I coached for 13 years at Oakmont Country Club, coaching children, girls who are currently at the high school, like the Nelson family. And um, I can't really say I've escaped the swimming, even though I'm a stay-at-home mom. I've enjoyed sharing tips of the trade, my experiences, and really enjoy helping children, girls, boys to excel both in the classroom as well as in the water. And I can say that, you know, really looking back um, at Sacred Heart has helped me to get to that point today. As my sister Heather or Melissa mentioned, um, it's the fact that Sacred Heart is a safe environment for girls. And I can say that with the help of the sisters, um, great teachers, um, it really makes it a wonderful environment to learn and grow about, you know, learn about the world. Um, but enough about me. Um, what I'd like to say about some experiences are that I remember the longest stairs in the world, running across the longest bridge as fast as you could to get through the main building to Betsy Sowers' health class in the annex. <laughs> oh, you had Spanish class? Yes, Indiana. Um, I remember a very small locker room at the pool. I don't know if it's changed. Has it changed? It's still small. <laughs> I remember classes that inspired and challenged, like Katie Sadler's government class. Skylar Standish, um, God bless him, and his wonderful art classes and how he really um, involved everyone in art and got everyone, no matter what your level was, uh, and brought it out of you. I remember my charcoal drawings, and I was actually very fond of those. Um, Herb Abbott, God bless him, and his amazing science classes, and all the Dominican sisters who helped and taught not only English, but um, religion classes, and we're just part of daily life. And I will never forget the reaction if a boy from St. Francis or Loyola arrived on campus. The girls' reaction and the sisters' reaction as they were shooing them off the campus and the girls were like, oh, the boys are here. Um, as for swimming memories, I remember swimming against my sister Heather and feeling that pressure to have to beat her. Thank God. We were put in different events, thank you, <laughs> most of the time. Um, swim meets that were so quick because the team was so so small back in the day that the meets went so quickly. No sooner had we finished our event, but we were climbing out of the pool to get back up on the blocks and go. And that wasn't too terrific because my events were the 200 free, 8 laps, the 500 free, 20 laps, and the 100 butterfly, 4 laps. So it was like, okay, Laura, let's go, let's go. Um, but I also remember um, the big red plastic starting blocks, Betsy, I don't know if anyone remembers, we used to dive, I don't know anymore, into the shallow end of the pool, but thank God we've changed it and we dive with modern blocks into the deep end. Um, anyways, going to CIF with my math teacher, I was the only student one year that went to CIF, uh, going another year with my sister, Heather. Um, the swim team was small. But over the years, it's grown. The athletics at Sacred Heart has grown tremendously. Um, you're all very blessed to be here and part of such an amazing program. We didn't have the facilities here. Um, and I just say that swimming and athletics as a whole has really taught a lot of life lessons. And I think we can all, you know, especially the girls that are still here, you can learn a lot from them. You learn to be hard, a hard worker, dedicated, time management, and to be graceful in defeat, and to be a good winner. And I just see Sacred Heart as a very important stop on my journey in life, where I've learned to be a confident woman who received a great Catholic education that prepared me for the rigors and challenges in college, and all the Dominican sisters who really helped to realize, helped me to realize my dreams um, of being a part of this world and helped me to grow into the woman that I am today. And I just want to say finally thank you to my family and my friends and my relatives and everybody um, who, for their constant love and support. And to my grandmother who is here today who helped to make my Catholic education at Sacred Heart possible. So to everyone, thank you so much for listening to me and thank you for being here.